Plato, a complete overview of his life, work, and philosophy. Did you know that Plato, one of the most prominent thinkers in history, thought there may be a perfect world that exists outside of our senses? Plato is among the most renowned philosophers of ancient Greece and as the founder of academic philosophy. His influence over Western culture is immense, and his writings constitute a source of great philosophical thought. Plato's philosophy is a system of teachings that includes metaphysics, ethics, politics, and more. The basic idea of the philosophy of Plato is that there is a higher reality beyond the reality we see with our eyes that is constituted by ideal forms or ideas that are objective and eternal. His theories about ideas and his dialectics laid the groundwork for a philosophical tradition known as Platonism. Let's examine the legacy of Plato in detail. Plato's Early Life The early life of Plato, one of the greatest philosophers in history, is clouded with mystery due to the lack of reliable sources. However, scholars have gathered some information about his upbringing. Plato was born around 428 or 427 BCE in an aristocratic family in Athens, Greece. His birth name was Aristocles, but he would later be called Plato due to his broad physique and shoulders. Plataios means broad in ancient Greek. His family had a long lineage of influential politicians as well as thinkers, and his mother, Perictiona, was related to the legendary lawmaker Solon. Get the latest articles delivered to your inbox. From a very young age, Plato showed great intellectual promise and an inclination for philosophy. According to ancient biographical sources, such as Diogenes Laertius's Lives and Opinions of Eminent Philosophers, he received an excellent education in music, poetry, grammar, gymnastics, and mathematics. Philosopher Cratylus of Ephesus was a pupil of Heraclitus and taught Plato. He inspired the future thinker to study literature, rhetoric, ethics, as well as other subjects. Plato succeeded academically in literature, arts, and wrestling. He even participated in Olympic and Nemean Games rallies. The post-Periclean era, during which the childhood and teenage years of Plato went on, witnessed a rise in laziness, cowardice, as well as greed. Military hostilities between the Delian League and the Peloponnesian only served to exacerbate it. Plato's father, the politician Ariston, tried to improve the lives of fellow citizens. Because of this, he wanted his son to also become a politician after school. But Plato had other plans for the future. He tried writing in an attempt to create poems and dramas as well. In 408 BC, a young Plato decided to take his presentation of the tragedy he had written all the way to the nearby theater. On his way back home, he met an elderly yet vivacious man who sparked a conversation that profoundly changed the young man's life and marked the beginning line of a new story in his life. This influential person turned out to be none other than Socrates himself. Study in Athens an Establishment of the Academy Plato's study in Athens played an important period in his life, wherein he further knit and crystallized his philosophical ideas. In his early 20s, Plato became Socrates' devoted student. He was mesmerized by Socrates' unique teaching, which took the form of the Socratic Dialogues, where questions were used to dig deeper truths and challenge preconceived notions. This transforming experience tremendously affected Plato's philosophical outlook. Living through the execution of Socrates for allegedly corrupting the youth, Plato spent a lot of time secluded. He left Athens for Egypt, going through Italy and Sicily before returning again. Such long tours affected him very much as he met so many different cultures and learned about various philosophical traditions, as well as deepened his knowledge of mathematics and astronomy. In 388 BCE, Plato founded the Academy in Athens. This was a center for intellectual pursuits, where soon it grew into the recognized institution of higher education among Western history's earliest institutions. The Academy influenced discussions and debates among philosophers, who used it as their main ground of convergence. Here, Plato pursued his passion for philosophy by engaging students through lectures and discussions. His teachings have covered diverse areas such as ethics, metaphysics, epistemology, the theory of knowledge, political philosophy, etc. The concept of forms or ideas was central to his teachings. Plato's work also included the writing of dialogues that had Socrates as the central character involved in debates with fellow philosophers or common citizens on a number of subjects. The dialogues not only became philosophical treatises, 
but likewise literary proceedings capturing both intellectual contention and ethical challenges. Plato's time in Athens also helped him develop relationships with notable people like Aristotle, who later on would become Plato's most eminent student. This mentor-mentee relationship would leave a deep mark on the development of some of Aristotle's own philosophical ideas. Socrates and Plato. Plato's relationship with Socrates is fundamental and complex, penetrated with deep admiration, intellectual influence, and the profound impact the latter had on Plato's philosophical development. Plato first met Socrates when he was still a youth and immediately fell under the spell of his untraditional teaching methods, deep wisdom, and charismatic aura. Socrates became famous for his relentless determination to look for the truth through questioning, as well as shaking up conventional opinions. Socrates' method of teaching greatly influenced Plato. His use of questions to challenge assumptions had a long-lasting impact on Plato's philosophical approach. This can be observed in Plato's own dialogues, where he often uses similar methods to explore ideas intensively. Moreover, as has been indicated earlier, the execution of Socrates by Athens's democratic government left a deep mark on Plato. The unjust nature of this event made him question both democracy and those set limits of public opinion in matters that fell under philosophy and morality. This failure of democracy caused him to seek other forms of governance. However, it is worth mentioning here that though Socrates had a profound impact on Plato's way of thinking, they were two separate persons with their own individual ways of seeing things. While the Socratic dialogues mainly dealt with ethical and moral questions, Plato also broadened his philosophy to include broader metaphysical as well as ontological discussions. In other words, the relationship between Socrates and Plato can be said to have been an intellectual kinship, with Socrates being a strong motivating factor in Plato's philosophical development. Through their dialogue-based interrogation sessions, they both molded as well as transformed the landscape of Western philosophy. Plato's Works The works of Plato have withstood the test of time for thousands of years because they carry deep insights, great timeless themes, and intellectual rigor. The Republic is among the most celebrated and influential works by Plato. Written in dialogue form, it tackles subjects like justice, political philosophy, education, and metaphysics. In The Republic, Plato puts forward his vision of an ideal state ruled by philosopher kings endowed with the appropriate kind of wisdom. Another work, The Symposium, explores the meaning of love or eros through a series of speeches delivered at a social gathering. Each character delivers his interpretation of love, varying from physical desire to platonic ideals. This work scrutinizes various aspects of human relations and cemented the pursuit of beauty and knowledge as elements that are essential to love. In the dialogue Phaedrus, Plato focuses on rhetoric and speaks about the strength of speech through a conversation between Socrates and Phaedrus. It examines issues such as persuasion, truth-seeking, and communication skills. This work gives us an idea of how rhetoric can either mindlessly manipulate minds or give real philosophical insight if applied correctly. Phaedo explores one's relationship with death and immortality. The dialogue setting is Socrates' last day before he was executed. Plato asks the participants in the dialogue to delve into different arguments for the immortality of the soul. Plato also provides an insightful reflection about the existence of knowledge and what a soul needs to know when it dies. In Apology, Plato summarizes Socrates' defense at his trial and highlights his unwavering commitment to truth-seeking in philosophical inquiry. The text explores the confines of societal norms and beliefs while shedding light on Socrates' rebellious attitude toward defying conventional wisdom. Style of Thought The style of thought developed by Plato was characterized by rationalism, idealism, and a great focus on the pursuit of truth and knowledge. Plato's philosophical ideas often transcended conventionally understood reality and delved into abstract concepts. One aspect of Plato's style of thought is that he emphasized reason and logic. He believed that by critical thinking and logical analysis, one could arrive at objective truths about the world. In establishing his philosophical arguments, Plato used deductive reasoning using premises to draw valid conclusions. Another notable feature of Plato's thought is idealism. He suggested that the physical world we experience with our senses 
is only a flawed copy or reflection of an ultimate realm of forms or ideas, which represent perfect, eternal, and changeless essences beneath the imperfect appearances found in the empirical world. Plato demonstrated an interest in metaphysics. He was deeply concerned with questions about existence, reality, and the nature of being. His dualistic view noted a distinction between body and soul, where the physical body was regarded as transitory and mortal, while the immaterial soul represented our true essence. As far as epistemology is concerned, the theory of knowledge, Plato believed in a kind of knowledge stored within the soul. He posited that learning is actually a process of remembering these pre-existing truths rather than acquiring new information. Therefore, true wisdom will involve reconnecting with this innate knowledge through philosophical inquiry. Besides, Plato's political philosophy reflected his manner of thought as he stressed the ideal city-state governed by philosopher kings. In what he termed a philosopher king, in fact, he has imagined virtuous rulers who both have intellectual power and moral integrity, something required for wise governance. Lastly, Plato often used dialogue as a format to present his ideas. Such literary style allowed him to explore complex subjects by way of engaging in conversations between Socrates and sometimes other characters, who would debate multiple viewpoints. Such a method gave room for examining diverse perspectives and resolving philosophical challenges via dialectical reasoning. The Platonic Dialogues One of the most important parts of Plato's legacy is his dialogues. Platonic dialogues are a unique form of literature through which Plato presents his philosophical ideas in dialogue forms, with Socrates being the main character engaged in conversations with different people. This collection includes more than 30 dialogues describing various philosophical themes and giving different arguments. Some of the most popular dialogues include The Republic, Phaedrus, Symposium, Phaedo, and Meno. The dialogues are dramatic because they contain Socrates conducting intellectual debates with friends, students, or adversaries. Plato makes use of these conversations to give rise to arguments from multiple viewpoints implicating his philosophical ideas. Another aspect of the Platonic dialogues includes using the Elenchus or Socratic method. This approach entails lots of questioning and exploring others' ideas to understand contradictions or differences. Through this dialectical process, Plato seeks to induce readers into gaining comprehension of fundamental truths and knowledge. Another important element is that Plato often used allegory and metaphorical language to illustrate deeper concepts. At times, for example, in the Republic, he used the cave allegory to explain his theory of forms or ideas. Metaphors help make philosophical ideas accessible while encouraging readers to interpret deeper meanings as well. Plato's dialogues are also proof of his interest in ethics and moral philosophy. He talks a lot about questions pertaining to justice, wisdom, courage, temperance, self-control, and how they contribute toward living a virtuous life.